Welcome back to Jersey Matters. We continue our conversation with Bill Pascrell III from the Princeton Public Affairs Group, and he has been involved in getting legalized sports betting uh, to New Jersey for nine years now, and now it's here. We're talking about w what happens next. It was interesting. I, I told you I had a conversation with somebody from the Hard Rock, and they were saying that a sports book, sports book gets crowded on on football weekends, the NCAA playoffs, the Super Bowl, but at least in their property in Las Vegas, most of the time it's not being used, and they wanted to figure out another way to use that space. We've seen lines at the Brigada. We've seen lines at Monmouth Park. You think that's going to continue? I do, um, and I think that everybody has their own focus and priority. Next door to the Hard Rock, opening the same day uh, as the Hard Rock is the Ocean Resort. 75 hundred square foot sports book. Are they missing something? So I think the truth lies somewhere in the middle. It's not going to be as great as everybody wants to kind of pontificate it's going to be, but it's a very important factor. If you don't have a sports book in Atlantic City, you're going to be left in the dust. But it's not a year-round thing. During the week, during baseball season, the sports books doesn't get packed. Uh, it's not. The question isn't packing the sports book. It's getting the bets in, either online or offline, meaning coming in. I mean, whether you're going to have people crowded around the bar in the sports book or not every day, I don't know. I think Monmouth Park has gotten it right. I think Monmouth Park is going to, during NBA season, there, there are people who like to bet on sports that have been betting illegally for many, many years that are going to start to bet in a legitimate place. And if they have a beer or a hot dog or a burger or a steak, that's an ancillary benefit. But you better have sports betting for this reason. The folks that are in first, the first movers, are going to be able to transition their sports betting clients into the online operation. And that's where the money is. Right. I think everybody, everybody agrees with that. And everybody has said that, that the online is going to be most of, of the money. Let's talk about other states now. You, you talked about Europe and, and some of the other interest in Jersey gambling. Other states are now scrambling and, and trying to get in this space as well. That killed Atlantic City when the, the casinos opened in Pennsylvania, especially, and in New York. It, it really hurt Atlantic City. Will the sports betting in other states hurt New Jersey? It's not going to hurt New Jersey. They're all trying to replicate New Jersey. New Jersey's now ahead of the curve. We know that Delaware was first in. They already had parlay bets. Now they have full-blown sports betting. But, you know, Delaware's the size of, you know, many counties in New Jersey, okay? We're at 9 million population versus just under a million in Delaware, okay? I think that Jersey is the leader right now, not only in sports betting, and what's called, Larry, in-game running. So you can actually bet during the course of a game. This is where I think some people are missing the value here. You can bet on first downs, throw, pass. You can bet on balls and strikes. During the course of a golf game, you can bet on bogeys or birdies. That keeps people interested in staying around. And so I think that Jersey's gotten it right. The regulatory and tax structure that we set up is trying to be replicated by many other states. New York, by the way, just missed their opportunity. We're not going to see sports betting in New York until next year at the earliest. So I feel pretty comfortable. So you weren't working position. up there with them, or they would have been done, right? They should have hired me. They didn't. <laughs> are you working with any other states? We are. We're working in West Virginia. We've worked in Pennsylvania. We're working in Iowa, California, Florida. I was just with Governor Rick Scott in Florida last week. Uh, we met down in the Florida Keys talking about how to get this done He's, of course, running for the U.S. Senate now, so, um, you know, he won't be here at the end of the year. But any state that has gaming now would be foolhardy not to get Sportsbook up and running sooner rather than later. And the reason for that is I think you're going to see a transformation online where Dave Reebok has put in a place the opportunity for states to do what are called state compacts right. to share liquidity. Oh, I see. So yeah. Pennsylvania and New Jersey there might share if Pennsylvania comes through. But uh, uh, let's get to the sports book, the experience for a second. You seem to be saying that if they, if they pass this in Pennsylvania and they have it, let's say, at the Sugar House, people are going to drive by the Sugar House on 95 and come down to Atlantic City still. Here's the point, though. Competition is important. Jersey has for the first time in a long time, got it right. They're all in, they're getting it right. And the Borgata and Mammoth and Meadowlands and the other casinos will continue to kind of capture the audience. 
competition's good now. If they had it before we had it, I'd be concerned. The fact that we're ahead of the curve, I think we can capture a lot of that market because I think we're nimble. I think we have a better tax structure and our online gaming, by the way, the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City is the number one house for online gaming. And they're gonna have a sports book open very soon. In the nation, they're number one. Now, wow. re realize there's only a couple states that have it, but Jersey yeah. is well positioned with a good legislature and a good governor that understand this issue. I think we're still at the top of the heap. W one last question, and it's because I spent much of my youth in South Jersey and I have an affinity for the Atlantic City racetrack. I saw that they were included in this. Mm -hmm. Now the Atlantic City racetrack has been all but dead for a long time. Does this mean a possible resurgence of the Atlantic City racetrack? This is a resurgence for the horse racing industry in general, because anybody who had a track or previously operated track can open up a sports book. That will help Freehold, Monmouth Park, the Meadowlands, Cherry Hill and Atlantic City. But you're seeing dead tracks that may finally come back? Yeah, under the law, they're allowed to do that. Wow, that would be great. Thank you so much. Always I really a pleasure, appreciate Larry. it. Enjoy your trip around the world. <laughs> Bill Pascrell III, Princeton Public Affairs Group. Jersey Matters continues right after this. When we come back, how sports betting is going to affect the horse racing industry. We'll check in at the Meadowlands when Jersey Matters continues.